Hey guys, it's Banu from AndroidOwler.com and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the RMOD ROM based on Android 5.0 Lollipop onto your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 N9005. So this will only work on the N9005 and it will not work on the N900 that is the Exynos variant. So let's uh, first have a look at the xda thread so this is the xda thread and in order to install this rom first you need to have installed the leaked android 5.0 lollipop official uh, firmware so if you have not done that yet uh, you need to download uh, these three files given in the thread and then you need to flash it using odin so if you have flashed the ROM earlier, then you don't have to do that. You can just uh, download uh, the twerp recovery. I hope you are rooted and you have twerp recovery installed. Uh, once you have done that, you can go to the download section from here and that will take you to this page and you can download the ROM from here. So once you have the files downloaded, transfer it to your uh, internal or external memory card and now let me show you guys how to install it so first you need to uh, turn off your device and hold up volume power and home at the same time for around uh, 5 or uh, 10 seconds so once you do that you will see the message saying recovery booting so if you have to recovery installed on your device you will be booted into that first i highly recommend you to get a uh, full backup of your system so to do that hit on the backup button and select everything and you can swipe to backup i'm not going to do that because i have already done a backup so once you have successfully completed the backup uh, you need to go to wipe then you need to uh, select all the uh, all the uh, elements given uh, from Dalvik cache system data uh, cache so uh, you do not have to select uh, the micro sd card or the internal storage if you um, want to uh, preserve the files that you have inside but you must select all the other uh, stuff given so once the wipe has been successfully completed you can go back and go to install and select the uh, medium you can also use a pen drive to select the zip i have the zip file in the micro sd so i'll be selecting that file now and uh, i'll be swiping to uh, complete the flash so once i have uh, swiped it will load up the aroma installer where you can select the particular options of uh, the uh, ROM that you want. So this is the RM mod ROM uh, Aroma installation process. So first you select the language, press next and then agree to the terms and then you select whatever the features that you want. And uh, you can also select the CSC for your country and uh, that's pretty much it. Then you press next and then you press install so now this installation process will take roughly around 5 to 10 minutes so just give it uh, some time uh, to install all right guys so the installation process is complete you can now reboot your device and it will say uh, swipe to reboot just swipe it once and you will see the boot screen so the initial boot is uh, usually longer so don't worry your device will boot just give it 10 to 20 minutes to boot so once you have successfully booted uh, you can quickly go through the uh, initial setup I'll quickly go through it and uh, I will also restore all my settings so that it will be easier for me. Alright guys as you see we are now booted into the RM mod ROM so uh, as you see in the background all my apps and data are being restored. This is a cool feature on Android Lollipop. 
so this rom has a lot of great features and uh, this rom uh, from what I have heard is pretty good so this uh, is the settings panel this is the updated settings panel for lollipop if in case you haven't installed the leaked version so moving on to about device uh, as you see this is the n9005 and we are now on android 5.0 lollipop and this is the rm mod rom version 1.8 so the installation process will be the same for e uh, even the future versions of this ROM. So moving on back to settings once again and going back into the device section we have the RM mod features section. This is where we have all the cool features from RM mod. So the developer will be working hard to improve the settings and uh, we will see more features added into this in the future. So having a quick look once again at the app drawer and uh, this app also has the um, key mapping just like on the Note 4 so you can use the menu button as the multitasking switcher. That's pretty cool or else you can change it through the settings app. Alright, now let's have a look at some of the apps. So this is the dialer app on Android Lollipop for the Note 3 and this is the camera app interface. This is the same as the one that we had on the Note 3, it's uh, original KitKat ROM. Well guys, that's pretty much it when it comes to the installation process of the RMR ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to smack the like button and the subscribe button down below. While you're at it, why not share this video with your friends on social media and uh, stay tuned to Android.com for all the latest from the tech world and I will talk to you guys in my next video and until then, this is Banu signing out.